Welcome back, gainers, to another super fantastic, exciting episode of Comic Gage! Ah. If you're new to the show, I'm Adam. I'm Zach, and this is Princess Her Royal Highness, looking very low today, like usual, doing that princess wave, so bow down and respect. Get low. Get low. All, All right, guys, so today is Monday, and we've got a mystery box for you, like we always do. Uh, we got a brand new mystery box to show. This is kind of exciting. Um, we've got Cosmic Comics very first mystery box so uh this is a friend of princesses on instagram so we're going to be busting into this bad boy really really excited look at these cool stickers on the back there so uh, we're going to be busting into this one uh pretty cool and uh little new segment show a little open discussion uh between the three of us you know princess is probably gonna have the most to say in this open discussion <laughs> but we kind of you know a question put out to you guys does is second appearances count as keys Are you know worth it? Are they worth the money? Like, you know, what's why are some worth more than others? I don't know, just a little bit. You know, we're not experts at all, but we're going to, like, share a little insight into uh, this open topic and get a, maybe get a little response from you guys. Get a nice little conversation. Yeah, guys. you know, build a little, you know, something. So, uh, other thing we want to start talking about more often in the show is, uh, is Zach ever going to drink another beer? Uh, I will, but I'm going to be cutting down, guys. I realize I have a problem, <laughs> and I need to face it, guys. Head on. I, I need to face it. The head of a beer. <clears throat> so I'm going to start off like Jason Momoa does, with a Guinness every morning. Actually, right now, there's no... I think he does it before he works out. He does it, it before he works out? Yeah. Because it actually has some natural protein in there. Zach trying to convince me that he should drink beer before we go to the gym, and I'm telling him it's not a good idea. I don't know. You guys let us know. Well, if we're a rock climbing, like I suggested, geez. <laughs> I, I can't rock. I tried it. I look like a dick fool. <laughs> I could barely do pull-ups. Mama, help. <laughs> yeah, don't talk about that. I used to be really good at pull-ups. That's the sad thing. All right. Like the underwear? <laughs> I'm a big kid now, Mom. I'm a big kid now. How's the Guinness? I'm oh, sure everybody delicious. knows. It's, it's so thick. The it's, like, it's the breakfast of you. Yeah, it's the breakfast of And guys, I heard you. I won't do as many cuts. Like, apparently, we were like, <laughs> so I'm not going to do as many. He's going to leave the Ginsu knife out of this one. <laughs> the, there was a reason for it, and I probably shouldn't have done it so aggressive. Yeah, too many of us were sick during so, the show. Yeah, so. yeah. let us know if there's something that you liked or didn't like. I hope you liked the dancing dog. They don't know about Wait, did you watch the video? Oh, yeah, we've seen it. <laughs> Uh, if you guys like that, I'll bring it back. It's more dancing. Well, we, got, we should get some real videos of Coco dancing. And but I know so do you guys like the intro, the, the older intro. Should I bring it back? Do you like it as it is? And we explain the video. Yeah, comment down below. All right, without should, further ado. This like the question of the video. All right, guys, let's get into it. Ask All right, so like you said. Uh, ask a lot of questions. Right? <laughs> Princess uh, got contact on Instagram through uh, Cosmic Comics. And uh, this is their very first mystery box. Uh, kind of new to the game. They're a new Instagram channel. And... Uh, this box is $47 shipped, so it's a little bit of a smaller box, but we like that. You know, there's not a lot of risk in a $47 box. No. You know, no, only, like so mainly only upside. You know, this is like opposite of some other boxes. Uh, there's only five <laughs> of these. Only, he only made five of these boxes. But um, if you guys like what's in here, make sure to follow him on Instagram so the next time he puts out a box, you guys can just go ham all over that. Links will be down below, And we'll below, link guys. it down below so you guys can see. This is kind of new. Like... You know, and our, and our friend Wink always says, when someone puts out a first box, you get all over that because they have, there's a good chance some good stuff's going to be in there. So, you know, we like that low risk, high reward. Um, it sounded like uh, what Princess was saying to me is that uh, it's going to be either close to value or a little bit above value. I don't think there was a chance for a huge, huge gains in this, but you never know. Maybe there is. I have no idea. People's perspectives are always different, right? Exactly. One man's garbage can be another man's treasure. treasure. I already like, I mean, packaging's good, um, right amount of books, so, we will see. Yeah, I found a new way to pack books, it's like, I can pack a book so quickly, you blink and you miss it, it's, it's awesome. I haven't I'll, seen uh, you package any books lately. Exactly! <laughs> it's, it's crazy, I didn't realize, my friend Scott kind of like, inadvertently showed me how to do it, I'm like, why haven't I been doing it? It's literally like, boom, boom, taped up, send it out. I can probably pack a hundred books in like an hour now. Really? Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, the way he sent those with, with the yeah. uh, paper in there, yeah. Yeah. Keep it all tight. You don't have to tape anything down. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. I didn't. Why? I wish I would have realized it. Okay, so let's see. Cosmic Comics. They're um, really. I don't see any notes on there, so we'll just. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna take a little peek. See what should be the bottom. I'll start it. What's that? 
I'll start at the bottom. We'll start at the bottom. I'm not really sure. We'll see here. From the uh, not, I don't think there was a theme to this one. Just great books, and that's a good theme. So we'll go with first off oh, the cool. bat. Ooh, we got Guardians of the Galaxy number five, the Scotty Young variant edition. Is this first appearance of Angela in, in the in the? Is month. it? I think it's either that one or Angela Assassin of Asgard, something like that. I can't quite remember. It's either that or issue five great of cover, Guardians. Of the Super cool cover. I think it's issue five of one of the, or one of the issues of Guardians of the Galaxy. This is Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, then, that's what I was saying. I thought it was issue five, right? But we could be wrong. Is that supposed to be the aficionado of Angela? I love her. Yeah, I want to marry her. Yeah. So maybe we'll see. Maybe if you guys know, what we'll put in there. This is this box is right of Princess Alley. It's pretty thing. It's probably her box. Uh, we've got nonstop Spider-Man number one, uh, Scotty Young uh -oh. variant. This is very, very cool. Um, I know from when I think when nonstop Spider-Man's a newer run, and when it came out, it's a bunch of short stories, I believe, of Spider-Man stuff, which is kind of cool. You know, it's kind of cool with the short stories. Sometimes all those like Marvel voices books, I've been trying to read them, and they're like so. There's like six stories in each one. It's so quick. Why is there a postcard here? I sent it to you. <gasps> sent you a postcard. Oh, right. it's like in case you guys were wondering. <laughs> All right. Next up. Next up. Ooh. This, uh, this is really cool. So you got Invincible Iron Man number six, Scotty Young yeah, cover. Yeah. I don't know if this is supposed to be the Scotty Young mystery box. The Scotty Young mystery box. But that's box. fine. Princess loves Scotty Young. This is her mystery box. So she loves Scotty Young. So these are all going, we'll go straight to her PC but. It's so hard to remember if any of these were keys regularly. I can't remember a if 6 was were. a key. A lot of them were. It's cool, Actually, though. Is he, like, recharging people's cell phones? Yeah. With the Iron Man That's suit? That's all he's good for now. <laughs> he's supposed to show up in the next one of the next movies as, like, a computer. Really? Like, the new Giants. Oh, I heard something like that. Ooh. Is that Ooh, also not That's not Scotty Young. What's going on? Ooh. 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 Oh, yeah, that this, lady. This is a Harley Quinn number one Zerdy cover. <laughs> Zerdy girl. I've never seen this one before. This is cool. I don't know if that's from, like, the regular run. Yeah, yeah. That's one that was probably, like, dating or something like that. Zerdy! That, Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy have been off and on since they first met up. I always hope more on than off. 1994? But, what? 1984? 1994. No. 1994. That could be right. Is it? Well, no. I don't think they made up until like a little Ooh. later in the Batman animated series. We only got two left. This looks like a good one. Midnight. So you got uh, Morbius, number one. Uh, this is Rise of the Midnight Suns, part three of six. And you got the poster on the back. Dang. Um, I think this is a little bit of an underrated book. Very I think, underrated. Yeah. I, I think good time right now to be picking up all the Midnight Suns books. They're bringing all those characters in. Kind of weird Morbius being in Sony and then probably Ghost Rider coming in through. But, you know, it's worked before with Spider-Man and whatnot. So be, I think that'd be an awesome show if they did Midnight Sun. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That'd be so cool. All of our favorite characters. Yeah. And you could have Frankenstein in there, too. Why not? Frankenstein? That'd be cool. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. Last one. Ooh, oh, whoa. Guardians of the Galaxy. Number yeah. 11. With one, Silver Silver. The one in 50. I opened this in the right order. Ooh. Dude. Do you know, is this anything special? No. Not off the top of your head? Not off the top of my head. Not off the top but of your head. It almost looks like a Finch cover. Does it, it say is Finch? Finch. Yep. Oh, David Finch. Yeah, David Finch. He's a great artist. <sighs> Amazing. Dude, so good. Okay. Um, yeah. I totally made the box. Yep. Guys, look up on your key collector or any app, David Finch covers. He shoots fire. <laughs> He's amazing. So, killer, killer start. All right, all right. Cosmic Comics. Uh, good box. Good solve. It's like, so you can't go wrong. You can't get angry at a $47 mystery no, box. you can't. Especially <laughs> if you get a 1 in 50. Generally, when a 1 in 50 comes right out of the gate, it's usually worth 50 bucks. So, all the other books are on top of that. And Princess Loves Her Scott Young. And I believe, if my memory serves me correct, I don't think she had any, any of those. those three books. No. Nope. So, that's a double bonus right there. So, good start out. So, check out Cosmic Comics. On Instagram, follow them so you know if they drop another mystery box. Uh, if you guys want to jump up, jump in on it. Yeah, what's forty seven fifty bucks for a mystery box of that quality? I mean, mm -hmm. it's nothing, guys. Jump change, do it, do it now. Do it. All right, right guys. Yes. Here we go. Okay, so let's get into a little bit of conversation. So we were kind of you know talking about whether or not second appearances are keys or should they have value or why are some of them have a lot of value, why are some don't have a lot of value, and 
Uh, there's so many things to talk about, and you know, we don't like to keep our show super long, so the three of us kind of narrowed it down to four books, right? Right. So we've got two books, uh, two books of high value, one that we believe should have high value, and one that we believe is kind of strange that it has such high value that it does. Yeah. And this is only our opinion, so obviously, like, you know, it doesn't have to be, like, in stone. And then we have two books of lower value that are second appearances, one that makes sense and one that maybe doesn't make sense. We only don't have one of the books, all the other books we have. So the first book that we do have of the high value that makes perfect sense is X Men 266. It's the first, well, sec, second appearance of Gambit. <clears throat> it's first in story in chronological order. So it was meant to come out before the X Men Annual 14, but for some reason it just didn't happen, I believe. And it's a first. Uh, so, X-Men Annual has 15 panels of Gambit, so you could almost say, for the longest time it's called the cameo, but if it, he's in 15 panels... Yeah, that's the first appearance. It's pretty much the first appearance, but I still consider it... I can still consider this the first appearance. But this is the first cover appearance, for sure, of Gambit. Definitely. definitely. For sure. And it's $150 raw and high grade, and $900 in a CGC 9.8, and... Yeah, that's it. That's yeah. it for that. So I think with this book, this is definitely something, I mean, if you consider it the second appearance, which we could go either way. We're not really strong one way or the other, but if you're going off like Key Collector and some other things, they call it second appearance. It makes sense that it has a lot of value because it's clearly a much more desirable book than his first appearance, X-Men Annual 14, which is a great book by itself anyways, but he's on the cover. He looks awesome. Um, you know, it just makes sense that this book should be worth a lot of money. This has a little bit of Spine roll. Mm -hmm. What the? They don't wonder it didn't get a nine point. You should get a repress. I might need to get a repress. Repress. So right. really cool book. You know. You know. You, there's like I said, there's gonna be a lot of discussion whether or not you think it's a second appearance, but we'll so, go with it and say that it is. You're right. That, oh yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And then you can keep on holding that book because we gotta show a book that we don't have. Mm -hmm. And might as well have the print just show. You're gonna get very angry about this one because a lot of you are gonna disagree. Yeah, and we're not saying that us. this book doesn't have value or shouldn't have value it, should it just high. it's just strange that it's this high in comparison to other books of the same year same time same importance so what is the book that it's x-men 94 guys it's the second appearance of the new team right after giant size x-men it's sec uh fourth people consider it the fourth appearance of the wolverine other people consider it the <laughs> second First full appearance of Wolverine, but it's so confusing <laughs> by how Wolverine kind of shows everything. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of information about this one. It's the first appearance of Dragonfly. I don't know who that is. I'm sure it comes from, or her, comes from Krakoa, which doesn't even mention anything about it. It, uh, a lot of the time Wolverine's considered, a Wolverine, uh, Hulk 182 is considered the second cameo so which is even confusing, more confusing yeah. and i don't want to confuse guys and it's the beginning of the chris claremont run and chris claremont ran for 15 years that's a lot of writing 15 years consecutively i think goes all the way to 287 or 267 or something seven <laughs> <laughs> One of the seven. 16 years excuse me and in high grade it goes to 3.3 k High grade and CGC, I couldn't find a high grade other than an 8.5, and that went for 2.15 thousand, uh, $2,150. And that's insane for a grade like that book. I mean, mm -hmm. it, I, I know it doesn't even have any like make significant any first appearances in it, which is crazy that it's actually, I mean, don't get us wrong, we wish we had one. Yeah. It's one of the only books on this list we don't have. <laughs> and, and I'm sure it's Zach, a huge X-Men collector, wishes he had one in his collection. I do. It's just crazy that it's priced so high. And maybe that has something to do with Giant Size X-Men number one, pricing so high in comparison to other books of that, that same same time period. I mean, it's like one of the like the top five, right, for the, the Bronze Age. Well, it's in yeah. the top five. Yeah, sure. easy. So but, that might have something to do with it, but you know, look at Punisher's in there. Second appearance of Punisher ain't that high. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, not, it's not anywhere close to that. Yeah, yeah there's so many other Bronze Age <laughs> books I'd rather have than X-Men 94. I mean, if I wasn't like a true diehard X-Men fan. Mm -hmm. But somehow that's on the list. Yeah. Take that with a grain of salt. But we're just saying, it's strange that that book is so high as a second so appearance. Strange. 
And it doesn't even have like even a second first appearance to go with it that's a huge deal. It's so strange. Even Doctor Strange or a guy that looks like Doctor Strange is on the cover. Mm -hmm. What the heck is up with that? I wish you could. I wish you could see that right now. It'll, yeah, it'll be on. I'll, I'll show you after. It will make sense. All right. So All right. our next one is we got our two lower books. So these are two second appearances that have a lower value. And what's the first one, Gar? Okay, this one. Well, almost both of them don't make sense. But this is an ASM three fifteen. This has a lot less information and and. It's not mm. the greatest cover in the world, but it's pretty decent. It's the first partial cover of Venom. The issue, I think, 316 or 317. 316. Yeah. 316 mm -hmm. is amazing. And it's the second appearance of Venom. In high grade, raw, it's $25. Mm -hmm. Why? It should be way more than that. Mm -hmm. Buy it up if you can. And graded, 9.8, only $250. Mm -hmm. A little bit more for the newsstand. You can get this book, 9.8, for $250. What the heck? Yeah, it's it's a strange thing with with this one. It almost to me kind of makes sense because Venom has that weird thing going on that Wolverine does too. At the same time, where there's like his first appearance is like two cameos, and then they move the cameo to the the other one to the <laughs> changes first appearance to a cameo. So now by the time this book comes out, it's kind of confusing. But I mean, it's Venom's first appearance, but it's or uh, Venom's second appearance, and it's like basically almost a dollar bin book. You can buy. I mean, pretty much. pretty close to that. I mean, it's kind of cool. When I was a kid, I was really confused. I thought Hydra Man was, <laughs> was Eddie Brock. I don't know why. I was like, oh, Eddie Brock, there's his face. But it's not Eddie it's Brock. It's Hydra Man, but just strange. It's weird. It's, you know, it's it's an old little bit of an older book. Not super old, but it's a little bit older book. 1990. Yeah. 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 It's got to be 1990. And it's 30 like, years old. 30 mm -hmm. something years old. Jeez. Yeah. It's worth more than that. Yeah. It's just strange. Strange. But it does, like I said, this is kind of the one that makes a little bit of sense because. Like little I said, there's bit. a little confusion with his first appearance. He's got 298, 299, then 300. Then they're like, and then like, hey, and what doesn't make any sense is 316 is it's like, we're so crazy. <laughs> you got to spend like two two hundred fifty dollars to get a raw copy of that. Yeah. It Third was... appearance, first cover. You, I remember you could buy a high grade for 20 bucks, and that wasn't even that long ago. Mm -hmm. It's ridiculous. It just went straight to the boot just because it's such an amazing cover. Yeah, should have should have gotten it. All right, what's the last one, Zach? Okay, this one is actually a book that should be worth quite a bit more. This is an ASM 257, second appearance of Puma. Puma! But what's interesting about this book is actually the first appearance of Ned Leeds as Hobgoblin. And you know he's coming, guys. This book is going to be hot, hot to trot. And guess what, guys? This particular one is a Mark Euler, so we're even better. I think you're just bragging now. We're talking about second sorry. appearances. But, yeah, <laughs> second appearance of Puma. And this book should be a lot worth a lot more because of the Ned Lee's thing. And, let's see, double check on here. Uh, okay. In high grade, it's $50. Okay. Yeah. $50 is not too bad, but it should be worth more. And a 9.8, you can get it for $300. I mean, it's a little bit of money, guys, but $300 for the first appearance of Ned Lee's is Hobgoblin? He's coming. You can double that money up if you get that. No problem. Mm -hmm. And let's just say not to make him like a villain. But they kind of like, if you've seen the No Way Home, you kind of like, we're always mm -hmm. going to be friends. I swear to God. And then something happens. Um, yeah. It's questionable. I don't want to ruin it for you guys. Hopefully you all have seen it by now. Hopefully. But yeah, interesting, you know, interesting book. Um, second appearance, Puma, obviously. I don't know. There might be some Puma fans out there who don't want to hurt you guys' feelings. Sorry. Yeah. Maybe an okay character, but this is kind of like, it kind of is like a strength when you have like some other major thing going on with it, but then it's kind of strange that it doesn't have like huge value. It's, it's an older book too. Yeah. Yeah. You know? I don't know what year it is. It's probably 1988, 87. And I can understand if you're a Puma fan. I mean, what would you do with a big fat butt? Why are you looking at Puma's butt? Look at it. It's right there. He's like face down, booty up. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's going to wrap it up with the discussion. So, you know, to, you know, kind of lay that out there, I think overall from the game's point of view, it's interesting. I would say, you know, if you like it, go after a second appearance, uh, especially they seem to be increasing in value. So especially if, if you're like a flipper and you're like, hey, I'm just going to buy that second appearance on the cheap. And then when it goes up in value, I'm just going to flip it. Um, or, you know, you're that kind of person that's like, hey, I really think a second appearance is a key. And it's important to me that, like, I have 
Ghost Rider's first appearance in Marvel Spotlight number five, and I also get his second appearance in Marvel Spotlight number six. And that book was worth nothing mm-hmm. for a long time. And now all of a sudden it's worth a lot. So I maybe it's my, important you to get all their appearances in order. And, you know, as a completist, there's a lot of you out there that like that. So it's interesting. So I'm not saying we lean one way or another, but we'd like to hear what you guys have to think about second appearances. So that's going to wrap the show up for today. And as always, guys, if you like the show, love the show, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell so you always know when new things are going down. Leave us a comment down below. Let us know about this new discussion we got going on. And, uh, yeah, Zach, anything else? Yeah, sure. How do you do that? Is you have to get in an airplane, believe in Darwin's theory, be a scientist, and just do this and that, this and that. Eventually, yeah, I think you run into the dark hole, but I don't think you ever do anything with that. I mean, you hang out with the guy, the Moon Knight guy, the original guy, and then eventually, because you're in the, you're in the plane so long, you become the high evolutionary. That's not his origin, but <laughs> it's my uh, origin of his story. It's me. I'm going to be the high evolutionary, guys. It's going to happen. It's going to be up in a plane. So watch then? out. Yes. There you go. All the time until it happens. Right on. All right, guys. Until we see you next time, stay safe and remember. Get those games. Get them.